What if you could stream on both horizontal and vertical formats at the same time while reaching your audience on Twitch, TikTok, or any other platform of your choice without needing complicated setups and workarounds? Well, today I'm going to show you how Streamlabs Desktop makes this possible with their new dual output feature, giving you the flexibility to stream in both formats simultaneously. What's going on guys, Chad here from How To Media, and I wanna go ahead and give a big shout out to Streamlabs for sponsoring today's video. They've made it even easier to maximize your reach by streaming in multiple formats, and I can't wait to show you guys how it works. So without further ado, let's jump over to the computer and take a look at Dual Output by Streamlabs. All right, so now we're over the computer and you can kind of see what dual output looks like. We have the horizontal output on the left hand side here. And then on the right hand side, we have the vertical output. And I'll show you guys how to go ahead and get that set up and running. It's not too difficult. So the first thing we want to do is go to our settings. And then I believe it's under the video tab. And we've got this checkbox here that lets us enable dual output. So we can click enable dual output. And then now we have two tabs here so we can set up our horizontal stream like we normally would. And then we have the vertical streaming option and we can set that up however we want as well. So if we wanted to stream at a different resolution, say 720p, or say we stream at 1440p to our horizontal places, but we don't want to stream at 1080p um, to vertical, we can set that up as well and also set up our downscaling and stuff like that. I will go ahead and say that I want to note that streaming to horizontal and vertical platforms simultaneously, but recording will remain horizontal only. That is very important to keep in mind with all of that, that um, your recordings will still be the horizontal format, which is okay, because in a lot of ways, there's a lot of tools out there, and I think even Streamlabs has one where you can take it and literally just put it into the, the vertical format. So there's that. All right, so we've got that taken care of. Um, the other thing you'll want to do is, well, go ahead and link those streaming platforms that you plan on streaming to. And then we'll talk about kind of how to set up your different views because that's really basically it. It's, it's not overly complicated, which is a breath of fresh air with a lot of the complicated stuff that tends to be out there related to streaming. Well, Streamlabs just makes it that much easier. Let's go ahead and basically try to recreate what we have here. Um, where we've got, say, you know, our gameplay and then our really nice banner and then our camera frame here. And then we've got our camera set up for our vertical output here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do a new one. So let's click, click on this, manage scene collections, go to overlays, and we're going to find a new one. We're just going to use the same one that I've been using because I really like the look of that. If I can find it, if not, we'll use a different one. All right, guys, this is Chad here from the future, and we've got some really good information. And that is if you go up to the top and search for TikTok friendly, this is something I did not do in the video. I used the same overlay template that I used um, to test all this out. But there's a really neat thing that you get out of these. It gives you both the horizontal and vertical layouts at the same time. So let's go ahead and click on Winter Vibes here and select and install. And you'll actually be able to see that it gives you the horizontal scenes and the vertical scenes built out at the exact same time. That way you get like the video aspects and the collections of scenes set up for horizontal and vertical. And we should be able to see those, well, literally right away. So you can see that this one is set up already. And if we go to the starting soon scene, that this video graphic is made for vertical as well, all the way down through these. So if you plan on streaming horizontally and vertically at the same time, I highly suggest checking out the overlays in the TikTok friendly section. So I found it here, it's called Cozy Nights, and then we're going to click select and install and make sure the alert box and the overlays are both checked and then click install. And once it's installed, it'll look something like this. And now we're ready to go ahead and get started and adjusting things for, well, our horizontal and our vertical output. So starting first, we are going to only be messing with the live scene. And if you want to mess with all the other ones, definitely go ahead. It's going to make your live stream look even better for your vertical output, whether, you know, you've got a section for just chatting, you playing your game or a be right back screen as well. So you get the options to adjust and set that up too. And then we'll talk about kind of the difference of the vertical and horizontal display and how you can hide elements from each of those as well. So getting started first with the well, what we can see. So we see a game capture in the background and I'm going to go ahead and actually turn off my camera so it's just not in the way while we go over all this stuff. And we can see that we've got the game capture and I can toggle that on and off by clicking this little eyedrop tool here. And that's neat. 
but we also have the option to hide from just the vertical. So if we wanted to remove something like say some graphic design or something that we're using from the vertical, we can remove it there. And we can also do the same from the horizontal. So you can actually add in elements or sources that are only specific to horizontal or the vertical output, which is very handy based on what you might be trying to do. Cause you might be trying to go for a different, slightly different aesthetic. And some of your graphics are probably not going to work directly with your vertical output. So, yeah, that, that, that's a really good tool and good thing to understand there. So now let's go ahead and click on the drop down tool, click on webcam. And actually, if we click on the settings gear over here, we can open the properties and we're going to change this to whatever your webcam is and mine's Elgato face cam. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And there is our webcam. So we can go ahead and click close. And now we can really get to customizing the horizontal view. And then we'll touch on the vertical view in just a second. Because the way I like to kind of set this up is set up one first and then go to the other because it just makes it a little less confusing. So getting started first with the alert box, we're going to leave that on both of these. And then for our stream overlay, well, I'm going to toggle the little hide unhide option. And yes, I want to leave that on the horizontal option but the stream overlay is probably something I don't want on the vertical. So I'm going to click this button here to hide it from the vertical option and then stream labels. I don't believe I'm going to use it on either one. So I'm going to click the little hide. We're going to leave them just in case we want to use them in the future. And then the lights, I don't want to use those on either one as well. So I'm going to click that little eye drop tool and get rid of that. And then if I click on webcam, I can select it for both sides and we can see that on the right hand side for the vertical, it's kind of weird, but for the horizontal, it's kind of what I want selected. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to move it up to where I want my webcam, which is say right around there. And now I'm basically done with the horizontal live scene for my live stream. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and try to fix it on the vertical because well, it just doesn't look that good. So let's get started first by going ahead and clicking on game capture. And we can see, well, game capture is actually behind everything there. So we can actually grab this corner, kind of make it peek out a little bit and pull it down. And I'm just going to size this down for now and we'll size that back up in a second. And then we've got our options for our webcam. So I'm going to open this folder so I can see inside of here. And I can see that we've got our recent subscribers, recent donators, and then the webcam frame and then the webcam itself. So what I'm going to do first is take this webcam and I'm going to scale this down to about, you know, the size of my webcam. And then I'm going to click on the webcam dot web M to select this webcam border. And we're going to actually scale this up. We're going to reuse this because I think we can make this work pretty well here. And essentially what I'm doing is just trying to find a good size where that frame fits right in there. And it looks like it fits right there pretty good. And now we're reusing our webcam frame, our webcam, and then our gameplay. So let's grab our game capture and we're going to scale this up basically to where it's touching here and then centering it because we want it centered. No, I believe that is center there. And now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and click on the recent subscribers option and drag this window down here. And then we can scale this text up for this box. And then we can do the same thing with the recent donators, but I don't have any of those. So that's not going to be kind of shown up there, but there we go. So we can kind of scale those up. And now you can see on the left hand side, we have a horizontal output for our live stream. And then on the right hand side, we have a vertical output option for our live stream. And it's that easy. Now, once again, you'll want to go ahead and do this for all of your different scenes. And I highly suggest if you get this to where you like this, um, keep in mind, locking and unlocking the sources, locking the source is going to lock it for both sides. So go ahead and just get these locked down when you've got it right where you want it. That way you don't accidentally move something around and put it where you don't want it. But now that we've got this locked in, we can actually go to the starting scene or screen and we can see that, well, this one's a little off too. So you'll want to go through the same thing and kind of go ahead and scale this up to wherever you want it. See, this might need a separate background or something to go with it to fill in that blank space. And then maybe you throw your social media is down here or whatever you want to do there. But there's some awesome customization options and you can see our transitions and stuff works just as well. And once you're ready to go, click on go to live stream or go live and then select which platforms you want to stream horizontal and which platforms you want to stream vertical and then click confirm and go live. And well, you're off to the races. 
And there you have it, Streamlabs Dual Output, the ultimate way to reach more viewers in both horizontal and vertical formats all at the same time. Whether you're streaming on platforms like Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, this feature opens up so many possibilities for content creators out there. And a big thanks again to Streamlabs for sponsoring this video and making streaming more versatile and accessible for everyone. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, get subscribed for more future content like this, and drop a comment if you have any questions about setting up your stream, or go ahead and join us over on our community Discord to get plugged in with other awesome creators. Also check the link in the description down below to download Streamlabs and start using dual output today. And until next time, happy streaming.